Hey everyone, welcome back to the Max Mundo Kitchen. Today's recipe is super easy. It's wonderful for um, if you want to uh, gift it, if you want to sell it, if you want to just make them for fun. It's a really fun activity. It's very yummy and it's the recipe of how to make chocolate bombs. So let's get working. The ingredients you need to make your chocolate bombs are um, chocolate, any kind, like the Hershey's bars or any of those, any flavor you want, white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, um, mini marshmallows, and also cacao powder, the kind you use for hot chocolate. Okay, so let's get started. This is super, super easy just to make things clear. The chocolate we're using is the plain old chocolate bars that you would snack on that make yummy desserts. You can use black, milk chocolate, or white, whichever one you like. And what we're going to do is we're going to chop it in really teeny tiny pieces so that we can melt it easily. We're going to melt it using a Balmati method. So you just have to put some very boiling hot water in a saucepan and you have to put a bigger bowl on top of that because if you use a small one, it's just going to create suction. It's going to get stuck in there and it's horrible. So to avoid that, you use a bigger bowl. You put your chocolate in the bowl and you're going to be stirring constantly until it melts. That's as soon as it's melted, you can turn it off. After that, you're going to need a mold for the chocolate bombs, which would be something like this. And with the help of a brush, you're going to just paint the chocolate in there. So you grab your chocolate and you're going to spread it as evenly possible. You may have to do this a couple of times, but you do it once, once um, you do it once, you pop it in the fridge or the freezer just one or two minutes until it hardens. And then what you do is you just check against the light to make sure it's not see-through. If it's see-through, you just paint a bit more chocolate in there until it's not see-through. And once the chocolate is hardened, you pop out the, the, the half spheres. And what you're going to do is you're going to fill one of the halves with a bit of chocolate powder, Swiss Miss, Cautina, any kind you like, Hershey's, and a bit of marshmallows, the teeny tiny ones like that they fit in here. And you're going to put some melted chocolate around the ends that's going to be a glue so that you can glue both ends of the bomb together and then you just let it dry and in the end you just decorate them however you like. It's super easy to make. Okay, so we are done. As you saw in the little clip we put in the video, all you have to do is put your bomb inside the cup and then pour hot milk over it and it opens up like a piñata. That's really fun. Um, I just quickly decorated the one that I used for the mug with a bit of um, sugar uh, sprinkles, Christmas colored ones. But if you don't want, you can just leave the little bomb on its own. And if you do want to make more effort, you can decorate them however you want. In one of the future videos, I may show you guys how to make some really neat um, chocolate bomb decorations. But otherwise, it's super fun to make, especially with little kids. Just remember not to handle chocolate too long because the heat in your hands will melt it and it'll start crushing and it, it's hard to manage. So just try to do it as fast as you can. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.